Hey everybody, Jason R. Curry here with the Freedom Group of EXP Realty. We are covering for sale by owner open houses. Generally speaking, as realtors, open houses don't provide much value other than getting us future buyers for other houses. Uh, I know that sounds really messed up, but the reality is the way we market it, the tools we have, generally the buyer is going to come through their agent or call us directly. The open houses are more for look, looky loos that are just interested. Um, but for your house specifically, not having those same tools and the same options we have, I've seen them work very well for, uh, for sale by owners because it gives a time where people without agents or even people with agents could all schedule go at the exact same time, get a view of it, and it works a little bit better with your scheduling. So how do you do that? So I got this nice big thick thing and it's just door hangers, okay? And now this is just listed and it has phone number and all this cool marketing technique stuff we have. But ultimately you don't need this. You just need a door hanger in itself or even print out that you could tape to your neighbor's doors. Or you just go around, knock, invite them to your open house and ask them to invite anybody they know. And if they're not home, just leave it on their door. That's why it's a hanger. And it makes your life so much easier. It makes their life, their ability to help you easier. And it's a great technique. Now, after that, I would also recommend obviously making sure that all the big websites know you're doing an open house. That's where people are gonna see it. That is absolutely key. I would set that up on Monday or Tuesday. If you're setting up a schedule, Monday or Tuesday needs to be the day you start marketing this and getting it out there to the public. Now, on our Facebook page that we had created for your home, you could also boost a post. And that will give the times, the date, all the information out to as many people as you are willing to pay for. 50 bucks usually is more than enough to do it through social media it'll get you into a few thousand people and that is a great way to get out there one last thing with that too is also make sure you post it into your local groups and your local tag sale groups because ultimately the more eyes on your home the better off it is and it's a double whammy because it's getting them into more potential buyers and it's also hopefully getting more people to show up to your open house these are the things i highly highly recommend that you do to do a successful open house. I would also go a few steps further and this takes a little bit more legwork. Signs, signage, signage, signage. Uh, you put them at every corner. You can buy them on, them on Amazon that says open house this way with arrows. The more corners you cover, the easier it is for people to find it. And a lot of people will see the open house signs and be like, oh, well, might as well check that out. If you're gonna spend two, three, four hours at your own house just sitting there waiting on people, you're not gonna be watching TV or hanging out with your family or doing anything fun. You might as well try to get as many people into the house as possible. A little bit safety goes a long way. Also, have them sign in. Uh, proof of ID would be great if you uh, are concerned a little bit more about people who are coming into your home. You want to see who they are, figure out how to reach out to them, and be able to follow up with them, really. So they should put down their phone number. That way you could follow up with them later and just ask them, you know, what did you think about my house? Is there anything that, I could, uh, that we could do to make it happen? Whatever. Negotiate. Get the ball rolling. And be prepared for people to be like, oh, thank you, but I'm not interested. And that's okay, too. Don't take it personal. Feedback is something that a lot of us take personal. And ultimately, your house isn't for everybody. And that's okay. Just getting there and finding out if they are interested and not letting them forget about your house and move on to the next will go a lot longer than just letting them come in, go out, go get a bite to eat, see five other homes, and now they may forget about it. I hope this helps. I'm Jason R. Curry with the Freedom Group of EXP Realty. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Put a comment in below or reach out to me directly. 203-910-7602. Thank you.